hope you're doing well. Uh, this is my presentation on pleasurable products that I use in my daily life, and I hope you enjoy it. There are many different types of products that I use that are designed to be pleasurable uh, in one way or another. And all of them take advantage of one of the four specific pleasures you talked about in your lecture. Uh, some products I use because they line up with my worldview and ethics and morality and would fall into the category of ideal pleasure. There are other products that I use uh, because they are physically pleasing to use, uh, and these fall under the physio pleasure category. And there are lastly some other products that I use because they validate my self image and lifestyle choices, and these fall under the socio pleasure. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time today uh, going into some more detail about some specific products that fall into these categories. So I'm really fond of animals. As long as I can remember, I've always had cats and dogs in my life, and I've always tried to hang out with livestock and uh, all that stuff. I just I love animals. I, I don't know why or what, but but I really do. And I'm a huge believer. Uh, in animal rights. I think the only thing preventing me from com being a completely intolerable vegetarian is my complete self-awareness of it. Uh, but um, I enjoy supporting businesses uh, that further this idea and support the same causes that I support. And a really good example of this would be the Metazoa, Metazoa Brewing Company in downtown Indianapolis. In addition to naming all of their beers after various animals and being pet friendly where you can uh, have, you know, visit dogs there, bring your own dog, pet dogs, even cats on occasion, or sometimes rabbits. Uh, they donate 5% of their profits to animal charities. And that's no small amount for a small business. Um, I actually realized I actually like other breweries beer more than Metazoa, but I still buy uh, Metazoa, Metazoa's beer more often than other breweries because I want to support them because I derive pleasure from supporting a business that has the same worldview as me. A good example of a product that uses physio features to make it pleasurable would be my new camera that I just purchased just recently. Uh, it's the Nikon D750. Um, as a photographer, I often find myself in a wide variety of different environments with everything from, you know, clear sunny days to rainy thunderstorms to, you know, like snow and sleet. And this camera is a good fit for professionals in those environments because it has a deep grip, it's weather resistant, and has dual card slots, which, which is very, very important. Um, this was a good um, corollary example to, to your example in your lecture of the Canon camera that uh, was designed with other uh, users in mind. Um, I actually bought this camera because these designs features, and I actually even switched brands because of the physio pleasures. For instance, a Canon camera uh, that was around the same price did not have dual SD card slots. And that's something as a physio feature that is very good for a professional because if one card fails, you have a backup. And that was something if I'm gonna do a professional job, I just can't risk. There are two examples of socio pleasures that I'd like to talk about. Uh, the first one is my current computer. I frequently buy a new Windows laptop about every two to three years, and I spend a lot of time doing research on the processor speeds, brands, uh, components, and I try to spend the least amount of money as possible for the most amount of features. And I de derive a pleasurable experience for my frugality, knowing that I've saved money and I'm able to use uh, this money for other things, you know, paying bills, car payment, helping my wife with the mortgage, things like that. Um, and the computer manufacturer for my machine specifically knows this with its, with its prospective buyers that there is a pleasure derived from their frugality and they advertise this. Uh, going, on their going on their website, uh, they advertise their laptop model as, quote, better everyday computing, and then they go on to list the ways the users are getting a value for their money. Uh, the words uh, cheap and affordable are never actually used, and instead Acer writes about their computer in a way that makes it sound like the shopper is getting away with something. And I thought that was a really effective way of increasing the pleasurable experience of frugality and thrifty shopping. Uh, 
uh, making someone feel like they're they're really taking advantage of a good deal and not reminding them that they're spending a small amount of money. It's it's rem making the person feel like they're really smart. My last example of socio pleasures involves uh, Jeep Wranglers. I've been in love with uh, this vehicle, this type of vehicle, ever since I was in high school. Uh, one of my friends had a bright red Jeep CJ from the 1980s, and I instantly fell in love with the go anywhere, do anything mentality that it inspired in its drivers. The first car I ever drove stick shift on was a Jeep Wrangler, and to this day, I still really love enjoy, uh, really love uh, driving stick shift. Uh, these experiences and feelings with this vehicle are all examples of socio-pleasure design in products. Due to the reputation of Jeep Wranglers, these cars add to my own self-image as an individual that can go anywhere and do anything, and they contribute to my lifestyle choices of wanting to go on adventures and seeing the world. They're also a really nice nostalgic throwback for me back to my days in high school when my friends and I would cruise down Panama City Beach in my friend's Jeep. These are also, interestingly enough, good examples of P.W. Jordan's research in the article, Human Factor, Factors for Pleasure and Product Use, in which the author documented that a majority of respondents that had pleasurable interactions with products labeled them with the following adjectives, excitement, satisfaction, freedom, and nostalgia. It's obvious that Jeep has done their homework with this. Perusing through the official website for Jeep Wranglers, users will see the word freedom emblazoned on the top of the page, view photographs of people driving through lo uh, exotic locations, and then read all about the history of the vehicle. It seems that this company has paid attention to Jordan's research and has made sure to imbue users with the pleasurable experiences associated specifically with freedom, excitement, and nostalgia. So in conclusion, pleasurable products play a large role in which things I decide to purchase and have in my daily life. And the implementation of ideal pleasure, physio pleasure, and socio pleasure has resulted in many of my purchases, such as Metazoa Brewing Company's beer, um, my, Nike, my new Nikon D750, my reliance on cheap Windows laptops, and my love of Jeep Wranglers. All of these concepts can help me going forward in EMDD design products and experiences that better meet the needs and wants of users.